Okay, you're going to go to the web browser of your choice, and you're going to type in Mumble. And then when you click on the Mumble link, it'll bring you to this page. And under Download Mumble, it gives you three choices there. Um, Windows, Apple, or Linux. So you click whichever one you're on. And then <clears throat> this page here, I usually use the bottom one there. It says Mumble Client. Click on that. Now some of the first screens may look different depending on which browser you're using. So if they do look a little different, it's because you're on a different browser. I'm using Google Chrome to do this. Now here you'll click on the Run. Some browsers may have Run and Save. You'll click on Run though. <clears throat> now here's to the Mumble setup, so you'll click Next. Now here you'll click on the accept the terms in the license agreement and then you'll go down and click on next. Now on this page you can pretty much hit next because this is pretty much okay right where it's at. Like I say, depending on your browser, a few of the pages may look different. Um, next, you'll click Install. Now, you'll hit on the bottom left there, under the black thing there, you'll see Start Mumble. You'll click on that, and then you'll click Finish. Now this is what you'll see next. Um, the right is the introductory page and the left is the actual mumble window. They may be a little different place on your screen depending on what you got there, but then you'll click next on the introduction screen down there. Now here's where it's going to let you select what you use for input device and your output device. Your input device is your speakers. So the where it says default device, there's a little arrow down there on the right of it. Um, if you hit that, it'll bring a drop down menu and it'll let you click on whichever you're using, whether it be a microphone, headphones, or whatever. Also at the bottom one there, the output would be your speakers or whatever you're using there. Also you can use e echo cancellation. As you can see here, I've selected my microphone and speakers. <clears throat> and then you'll click Next at the bottom of the page. Now here's a slider bar. Um, normally this is already preset OK but you can read the thing there and um, if it doesn't sound just right you can slide that slider bar um, and once it sounds alright then you can hit next but normally this is pretty good where it's at now here you'll see blue green and red whenever you're talking you'll see the thing the bar light up and you want to be talking into the green but you want to be able to move the blue over to the right. You do that by that little slider on the bottom there. Um, you want to move that over because the blue is your background noise. So you want to go to the right as far as you can with the blue, but yet you're in the green as you're talking. That way you don't get the background noise, but we only hear you. Now on this one here, <coughs> you want to click on the push to talk up there. And then there's a bar to the right of it, an empty space. When you click on that, it'll say choose your um, key. So what that means is you choose a key on the keyboard you do not use very often, and you push it down, and that'll select that key. So when you're in the room, you push that key when you want to talk. Um, if you're not pushing the key, then no one can hear you. This keeps... Um, interference or something else is in the background keeps everybody from hearing it all the time. And then you'll hit next.
Now here, balanced is what's pre-selected. Usually that's okay. Um, depends on your um, bandwidth and all. If you got a really bad connection, you might want to go to low. But balanced is recommended, and that's usually what most of them will work well at. Now here, you're going to hear audio coming right to the left speakers. Um, or there's a thing there you can click on use headphones. So if that if you hear that the right way, um, alternating from speaker to speaker, you can hit next. Or headphones if you're going to use the headphones. Okay, now on this screen you basically only got to hit finish. Now here is where the next screen will take you to. It says automatic certification creation. That should be automatically checked. This is so that whenever you um, log into the room and stuff after the initial setup, um, it'll save everything. So all you got to do is click on the server you want to go to and then you're in the room. Um, then you'll click finished. Okay, here's a list of the server's name. Uh, YouTube Garage Server of 265 Chevy is not in here yet, so at the bottom you have three choices. Hit on the Add New, click there. And when you click on that, you'll see here it's going to bring up a screen. And he will give you the information. Label is whatever you want to label the room. I label it YouTube Garage so I can identify it easily. Address is the server address, and it will be the longest of the three pieces of information he gives you. The port number will be the wrong number initially, so you have to backspace that out, erase that, and put the server or the port number he put in there. The username is whatever your username is on YouTube would be what I would suggest to put in there. So your label is what you want to name the room, address is the long one he gives you, port will be the number he gives you, and username is whatever you are known as on YouTube. Okay, now you see there YouTube Garage is what I named it, and you see it's highlighted there. So at this point you could hit connect. If YouTube Garage is not highlighted or whatever you named it, then you would click on that and then click connect. Okay, the first time you try to enter the room, it's going to tell you this wrong password. Okay, so what you do here is you type in the password that he gives you and then you will click OK. and now you're in the room. At this point you can hear everybody talking or if you hit the button that you um, clicked on or the button you choose on your keyboard if you push that you can talk and you can hear everybody else in the room talking. Thanks for joining the mumble room.